Okay, so we came in on the Yankee Freedom Dry Tortugas ferry, which is the only ferry which doesn't allow for very reasonable pricing. This is Fort Jefferson, which is pretty dang cool. That's uh, the only entrance and exit to and from the fort. And that is a drawbridge. Well, I don't know if it's a drawbridge, it's a bridge over the moat. So, continuing the tour. Just moved about 30 feet. And, yes, that is a moat. And, uh, I'm gonna walk straight down this path and walk around the corner on the right side over there. Well, <clears throat> lots of, uh, I don't know what the different kinds of birds are. There's pelicans. Out where those waves are breaking, that used to be a, another little island that's now disappeared. If the waves weren't coming in from this direction, I probably would have snorkeled over by those, uh, those posts that are sticking out of the water. Uh, there's a similar spot on the opposite side, and that's where I did snorkel. And if you're staying overnight, this is where you camp out, right in these little trees. So, I was just down that way. So this fort was never actually completed and operational. It was supposed to have three stories of cannons. Uh, like, first floor, second floor, third floor. And each cannon could rotate and shoot something like 35 degrees. So, I can't remember the number, but it was like, if there was a ship anywhere around the fort, it could be attacked by like 135 cannons simultaneously because of the way they could angle their attacks. And out there you can see there's a lighthouse. That's another little key. I think I might call it Lighthouse Key. Not really sure. And uh, back around the other side, over here to the right, there's a, a swim through, a little round tunnel that you can uh, swim from the, I guess from the ocean, this is technically the Gulf of Mexico, into the moat. And uh, you do that, and might be great though. That's the coral that uh, got me a little bit. Anyways. So, these windows uh, for the cannons used to be small. You'll see a lot of them are small. Those are the ones that have been fixed because uh, they built a pretty clever contraption of iron where when the cannon shot, it would open the shutter doors. I uh, release the shot and then on the recoil close them and lock them to protect it, fortify it, etc. However, because they were made of iron and when everything started to, uh, when the iron started to decay and erode and oxidize from the salt, the ocean, air and water, it started to totally wreck the whole fort. And so that's most of the windows have been knocked out by the iron reinforcements, ironically. So it's a six-sided fort. You can see this side hasn't been remodeled. And it doesn't look nearly as nice as the others. But, what a view. right to that point and pause it again. Oh, I thought this was worth pointing out. So you'll notice that there's like little apartments there. And the park rangers, that's that's presumably where they live. And that's their balcony. So they wake up and they have a moat. They live in a fort. And they look out on the Gulf of Mexico. And this is actually, this point is sort of where the Gulf of Mexico meets the Caribbean. I think they call it the Gulf of Mexico. But, uh, Anyway, not a bad little view. That said, it's hard to go to a movie here, get an internet connection, or call anyone. There's no services at all. So I was just down there 
look at those windows. The moat was pretty cool. Found a little conch. I've actually found a bunch. And uh, evidently there's a crocodile that lives in the moats. And so, he doesn't like people evidently, which is probably good for him and good for people. And that might be the reason why they don't want people to swim in the moat. But they do have a do not swim in the moat policy, even though I, uh, I found a little circular swim through tunnel, a little tube, and uh, things look bigger underwater, including tubes that you swim through, <laughs> which makes a lot of sense, but I didn't think through that before I swam through it, so I was surprised that I was hitting and bumping as I swam through it, and glad that it, uh, I didn't get stuck. It was about, I don't know, 10 or 12 feet long as all. Well. So, this is the beach where I did most of the snorkeling today. Most people hung out here. In fact, a little fishy. At the end I heard people saying, can we run through and take a quick tour of the fort? Oh, look at those little uh, needle nose fish. I haven't seen any in the water. But I always like those guys, they're pretty cool. Anyways, oh, so that's what uh, they would have looked like, would have looked like back when they were built with smaller holes on the bottom with the shutters. And there's about kind of a bird nesting area and stuff over there. They didn't want us to go over there. Oh, so pretty good coral along this wall, actually. And it's decent fish, some some uh, parrotfish and schools of tiny, I don't know what, but you know, where there's thousands of them and you can swim through them. Which is always kind of fun. And uh, it's kind of weird because the, these they hauled in about 16 million bricks to build this fort. And uh, so in the water there's bricks all over the place. And a lot of them are like rounded off or shaped or, or soft, but it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. You can see some right there on the shore that people gathered up and collected. Not quite as old, but it reminds me of uh, swimming in Turkey on top of those ruins, you know, that are just old and they're around and alongside the road. These are bricks are, what, 150 years old? But uh, it's kind of cool. So there's this little island. I think it's got another name. I don't know what they call it. But they say it's closed, I don't know why, probably because of turtle eggs or nesting birds. This area is also closed technically, but let's check it out. So I did snorkel over uh, by underneath all these metal things. There used to be, like back when this was an operational fort, those were uh, like kind of a warehouse or dock or different things and they are just made of wood and eventually a hurricane blew them out. But there's a lot of coral and things to swim through and avoid and look at. Kind of cool. Would have liked to have checked out that little island. And the ferry's about to leave, so I think that's going to be the end of this. All right, I'll shoot a little more, just because I like I like what I'm seeing. Well, I don't like the no swimming signs or the island close sign. This is pretty. Ton of sea, a ton of, there's a ton of birds over there of some kind on the island. I don't know what they are. Kind of cool little excursion. I like it. And when I round this corner to the right, you'll see, well, you would see, the bridge again. So I walked all the way around the fort just to give a little tour.